morning. It is nice to see you on this Tuesday. I hope everybody's weather is doing all right. I know California is getting slammed with some rain. Um, we are not. We, we are a little too far north to get hit by that uh, river of rain that is uh, moving through the West Coast. So we are lucky. We're missing, although we could use some more rain, um, just not that much. <laughs> that's that's a lot of rain. Although, yeah, we could use a little, but nobody needs that much rain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Donna, how you doing? Ooh, that's a lot of rain coming your way. Actually, it's been a lot of rain with more coming. I know that's, that I think is what makes it so hard. Is that once, uh, once that ground gets saturated, there's nowhere for the water to go. You know, it just, it just, there's, it can't absorb anymore. So, uh, so yeah, we do have that problem from time to time in, more in the springtime when the mountain um, snow starts melting and then too much melts and then the rivers overflow and yeah, and then the ground gets all saturated and, uh, whew, and then, yeah, yeah, it can get kind of nasty, but, uh, but yeah, I hope everybody in California is staying safe and, uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. So today being Tuesday, uh, this is my one and only sale today. And then I will be, um, I will be packing and invoicing the rest of the day. Uh, last night I ended up working on a couple of harder to pack items. So I was, I was uh, kind of focusing my time working on those because sometimes, you know, I love to sell all kinds of items and then you go, hmm, how am I going to pack that? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so last night was, was kind of spent tackling some of those more challenging pieces. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it's like, you know what, I'll worry about what kind of box I'm going to put it in and how I'm going to pack it a little later. Because sometimes it's like, no, this is, this is a really cool item. I'm just going to bring it and worry about that later. Well, last night was a little bit more of the later. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I am going to say hello to the people who have said hello in the chat. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Poppy. Hello, Donna. Hi, Denise. Hi, Heidi. And hello, everybody else who hasn't yet had a chance to say hello. Um, it is nice to have you here. Um, I am going to mention, oh, you had one of those to pack. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you, you get creative with how you pack things. <laughs> like uh, on a few Saturdays ago, I, I had this beautiful yellow vase, yellow glass vase. And it was, it was too beautiful not to pick up, <coughs> but it did have, um, an applied calla lily flower made also in glass on the exterior. And I thought, you know what? Again, I'll worry about it when it sells. It's so beautiful. I, I have to get this face. I have to. But it was 15 inches tall. And that applied flower was like bigger than my hand. It, it was big. And it was like all on the outside. And it was gorgeous. And yeah. And then it sold. <laughs> and then I went, huh how am I going to pack that thing to make sure nothing happens to, I mean, one, you don't want anything to happen to the vase, but I did not want anything to happen to that exterior flower. So I happen to have 
some, um, I don't know if it's cotton. It's probably cotton. Um, hello, Sarah Lee. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Barb. Yep, I got your email, Barb, and happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. That's awesome. And um, Gina, yes, yes, I mentioned in the sale that you got a couple of times that you got the chocolate bear. Yep. Um, but yeah, believe me, I, I, I do the best I can with replying to everybody's emails. I really do. If I miss one, I miss one. I'm sorry. I miss one. You know, I'm, I'm busy. If you watch the vlogs, <laughs> you guys know, I kind of document. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm really, really busy. Um, so yeah. And Gina, you'll get an invoice for that as soon as your name comes up in the rotation. I've got a lot of people. I sell a lot. I got a lot of people I'm working on. So you will get an invoice as soon as your name comes up in the rotation. Um, but yeah, so I, I had this uh, cottony kind of um, sheets that were used for insulation. And um, I put those, put that around it you know, and bubble and, and everything to really secure the outside of that. Again, I, I tend to save anything that looks like it could be good packing material. And, and that was one of those things that was um, really, really good uh, packing material. So, uh, so yeah, I'm always on the lookout <laughs> when, when I get things um, in the house. It's like, huh, I wonder, I wonder if I could use that for packing. And I do. I, I use, um, like, I, I get my packing peanuts in big uh, plastic bags. That's how they're, they're shipped to me. And I use those plastic bags to fill um, you know, vases, teacups, teapots, all of those items that I sell that are glass, I tend to put filler on the inside. And those, the, the plastic bags are kind of thick. They're really thick plastic bags. So they work really well as filler. So yeah, I use like, all, well, even, even the plastic that the bubble wrap comes in, I save that. I use that for filler too. So I pretty much use just about everything that comes into this house. Um, where do I buy my peanuts? I buy them, not sponsored. I buy them through Uline. And I buy them from them because I get the biodegradable ones. And they have, they, they kind of have the best price for the biodegradable ones. You get the most for your money. And I, as I've mentioned before, when I, when I pack my boxes, they are full. They are 100% full. And even then a little more full. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like using the packing peanuts, because there is no space. There's no space in my box that doesn't have something in it. That way it keeps it from collapsing. It keeps it from from according, um, as it goes through the machinery at the USPS, um, it can it can hit a log jam. Sometimes an item will a box will block the machinery, and you get a log jam. And all those boxes are putting pressure against each other, and they are going to crush the crush the boxes that they're being smashed against doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen from time to time. And you figure those boxes are going through a couple rounds of machinery. One, when it leaves my post office and goes down to the processing center, it's getting sorted through machinery so they know what plane or truck to put it on. Then once it gets to its destination, you know, a lot of times if it goes through another processing facility to then break down you know, if everything is going to, you know, Philadelphia, 
then it's got to go through the Philadelphia Processing Center to get to, you know, it's its own little post office. So it's going through like a couple of, of um, processes. Um, plus other boxes are going to be on top of it while it's making its journey. So I pack my boxes tight. There isn't any dead air space at all. Um, in those boxes. So nothing can collapse, nothing can cave in. You, I'm hoping, I'm hoping when my boxes make it to you that there aren't any smashed edges. Um, and I also put extra tape. Extra tape is great reinforcement on boxes. And so I don't skip on, skimp on the tape either. Uh, very, very important because I want those boxes to look like they are brand new when they arrive to you so that um, nothing has penetrated, nothing has caved in. And so I will fill those boxes with packing peanuts to make sure that they are tight. And even to the point where I have trouble closing them and putting tape on them because they are so full. But I find that that really, really helps with dead air and with, um, not having anything, you know, for that person that ships a bowling ball and that bowling ball lands on my box, um, I don't want anything to happen to it because people do use those flat rate boxes to ship, you know, like very, very, very um, heavy items, you know, auto parts, they're doing a lot of shipping of auto parts and stuff. And those are heavy pieces and those are going to land on my box. <laughs> so I want to make sure that box is well protected. And so, yeah, I have found the packing peanuts and, um, and then I switched over. Well, it's been, I think it's been a couple of years now since I've switched over to the biodegradable ones because, um, because the price is good on those. And I feel better because yeah, they dissolve in water. They're made out of cornstarch. And so they totally dissolve in water and they're, they're really nice. Um, and you know, not harmful to the environment and not harmful to, um, to, uh, you know, animals or streams or anything like that. You shipped two 40 pound weights in one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you know what? When that box lands on top of my vase, I want to make sure that it is protected because that's exactly it, Denise. <laughs> that is exactly it. Yeah. And things like that get shipped all the time. Uh, it's very frequent and it's, and the USPS has made it very economical to, um, to ship things like that in those flat rate boxes. Um, so people do take advantage of it, but I just don't want them to do any damage when they land on top of my box. So that's why, that's why I do that. And that's what I use. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, and, um, the circle back Barb. Yes. Um, one of those, and it is the, the peachy one. The peachy necklace is the one that is, um, still available. And, uh, so yeah, I will get back to you on that. And, um, oh, you couldn't lift it. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank goodness for, um, you know, they're, they're used to it. They've, they've worked up the right muscles for, um, uh, for lifting all of those, um, heavy packages. <laughs> so that is, that is really nice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the sale. One thing I do want to mention, um, if you were with me for Friday night, um, I did have sticker packs available and um, a few people won the sticker packs as part of the giveaways. But if you didn't win a sticker pack and would like one, I have five stickers and I'm doing a special deal. Five stickers five dollars. So I'll show you them. That's my logo, Sandy and Otto. Here is the uh, P uh, elephants love packages because of the peanuts. Yep. Because of the peanuts. We've got the Sue Spezio show sticker. 
And then we've got the inspectors. I have the cat inspectors and I have the dog inspectors. And I happen to be wearing my inspector's t-shirt. So if you're interested in a sticker pack, just let me know. They are $5. And if you would like to get a inspector's or any of these, plus I have other designs on my, um, on my merch store, you can check out the merch store right there. I'm putting the link in the chat. But yeah, I've got Halloween. I've got one Christmas. I've got um, some other designs on there also. The um, crossing guards, I've got them. I've got the, the little girl with her uh, German Shepherd BFF. So I've got lots of designs, lots of different products available. And, um, and yeah, you can check that out. And um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the sale. And actually, the first item I have is going to be free. So if you would like this added to your box, um, you just pay for the shipping on this one. But if you're adding it to your box, it's not going to cost anything. This one, just type in free. If you would like this, it is a... Um, instructions on how to make candy cane lace ornaments. Now, some of them have the candy canes in them and some of them do not. So you can do it either way. There's instructions here on how to make these um, candy cane lace ornaments or package toppers. Just type in free into the chat. You can see right there, they've got it as an ornament or as a package topper, but you get all the instructions, all their little variations for the ones they show there. So just type in free. And if nobody claims that, I will bring that back for the speed round. Let's see, I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so the first item today, is going to start at $1, and it is some elastic. I've also got a couple of um, hook, hooks um, in there in case you've got a little sewing project, you need a little hook. But uh, yeah, this is, I don't know how many yards this is. I did not take this out. And hi, Chrissy. So, yep, there's a whole bunch of elastic in here, and that is $1. So, very nice to have for all of your little crafting projects. All right, and for anything I don't have a taker for, I am going to bring back for the speed round. So, up next, I have a pair a pair of, um, I guess they're bows. Bows for a package, bow for a gift bag. It's just in these cute little mylar ringlets, ringets, ringlets. Yeah, like on hair. Or if you've got a bun you want to spruce up, there you go. But really cute to put a bow on a on a package or on a gift bag. Nice to use all year round. And you're going to get both of them for a dollar. All right, next up kind of goes with that. I've got a bag of gold mylar shreds. So these are nice if you're doing a gift bag or a little gift basket. Hi, Kim. Put those around your gift to protect it. Have a little fun bits coming out the top. So a bag of gold mylar shreds. And that is $1. And yep, you could have an awesome looking package 
see if you combined those. All right, next up, I have got, I believe there are nine of these in here. They are little bands. So they are these little bands here. And they've got a little flower on them. You can see some have blue, some have pink. There's one with a little sunflower. Really pretty ribbon. And there is a little bit of ribbon left on the band here. You're going to get that too. So you're going to get all nine of the little um, ribbon loops and the little bit of ribbon that is still left on here. All right, next up, I've got these little bands. So some of them are black and white, some of them are red and white. And on these, oops, oops, I just lost two of them. I'll get them. So there are these cute little bands. These ones have little black flowers on them. And there's actually, there's one, two, three, four of those. And then there's these cute little ones. And there's one, two, three, oops, four. There's one on the floor of those. So that's eight so far. And we've got this one, nine, 10, and 11, and 12, 13, and then, oops, 14, 15, and 16. So there are 16 of those all together. And those are $1 for all of those little bands. Okay, uh, next for 4th of July, I have three necklaces. They have stars on them. They are red, silver, and blue. Hi, Marcy. So you're going to get all three necklaces for $1 for wearing for 4th of July or for crafting with. Okay, next I have another set of three necklaces. These ones also have stars, but they also say, oops, where is it? Oh, there we go. It also says USA on it. So again, red, silver, and blue. Nice for wearing, nice for crafting. So you're going to get those three for $1. And those say USA with stars on them. Okay, next again for crafting, for gift giving, I have four little boxes here. Let me get them all out so I can show you each one. So these fold up like uh, takeout food containers. 
So you can see you start with this and then you end up with this the way that they're um, folded together at the top. And so here you're going to get two with these nice springtime flowers and then two with butterflies. And so you're going to get all four for a dollar. And they have little handles on them. Hi, Bonnie. All right. Next up for a dollar, I have a pair. a pair of white ribbons. So this one is thin and you can see it has a pretty little edge to it. This is not a full roll. It is a partial roll. This one does look like it is almost all the way full. Uh, this one is a five eighths inch and there were 10 yards. I say that's probably pretty close to all 10 yards on there. This one had 10 yards, but most of it is gone. There's probably at least a yard left on here, and that's a 1 8 inch. So you're going to get both of those for a dollar. Okay, then I have an ivory lace um, ribbon. Now this one is a partial roll also, but there is a lot still left on this roll. It was, uh, let's see, three yards, one inch, and there were three yards on here. I'd say not too much has been used on that one. And I'll show you what that looks like. So a nice ivory lace ribbon. And that one is a dollar. Okay, next one I have is polka dots. So on this one, you are going to get the thicker polka dot and the thinner polka dot. This one, there's not a lot left on here. This one had uh, seven yards on it, five eighths of an inch, seven yards. This one had four yards. Again, it was partially used, but I think most of those yards are there, one and a half inch. So you are gonna get both of those for a dollar. And then I have another black and white one, that same one, four yards, a black and white one. But with that, you are going to get these three additional ribbons. So there you go. You're going to get this one with four yards and this one. And that is a dollar. Okay, next up is a purple ruffle ribbon. So this one is a little stretchy, really pretty purple. Uh, let's see, this one had uh, 15 feet, so that would be five yards, and it's five eighths of an inch. Thank you, Sarah Lee. I see you in for the purple. There's still quite a bit on here. I'll show you, try to show you the layers. There's quite a bit still on there. And 
And we will count that down for Sarah Lee. Going over the polka dot. All right, hang on. Let me make sure I grab it. So this one, I believe, let me know, Sarah Lee. Give me a thumbs up if that is the one. So I will wait for Sarah Lee to give me the thumbs up on that one. All right. Thank you, Sarah Lee. And we'll count that down. So going once, going twice, and sold to Sarah Lee. Thank you. All right. So last call on the purple. All right, we'll bring that one back. Uh, next up, I've got some fabric. Now, this fabric does have a partial um, fade to it. Let me find it. It's not on this side. Um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, is that it? I think that might, I think that might be it. It is hard to find. Let me look this way. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's right in here. There is a little bit of a fade to the fabric. But if you're looking for a really pretty piece for a smaller project, uh, this one measures 18 inches across, and it is 41 inches long. I'll open it up so you can see how long that is. So 41 inches long, 18 inches wide, and then it does have that one spot oops, right in here where it is a little faded but a nice piece of fabric if you have a um, smaller project to work on and i'll get in close so you can see the pattern So it is a nice floral pattern. And this is much truer. My, my lighting, of course, is adjusting with the close-up. This is truer to the actual color. But then I wanted to show the close-up there. There we go. So that one is a dollar. And it is 18 by 41. And then next up, also for a dollar, uh, this one is pink with little silver crowns on it. Um, but I have two pieces of this. So the main piece is 18 by 44. And I'll show that to you, but there is a part missing. So part missing here and a part missing here. So again, good for a smaller project. And then I have this piece also. Well, these two, I guess they're two pieces. So two pieces there. So again, great for a smaller project, but you are going to get that whole um, that whole part. So all of this, oops, that's the back side. So all of this, one dollar, great for a small project. 
And that is, I'm going to say approximately 18 by 44. And hello, Jana. And, um, oh, I thought someone else. Nope. I said hello to Marcy. Hello, Marcy. All right. The, the last one, the blue one. All right. Thank you, Bonnie. I've got you for the blue one. Let me grab it. So, yep, the blue one for Bonnie. And I'll go going once, going twice. And oh, the last one being the purple ribbon. All right. So everybody, we might be having a bit of a lag. All right. Um, might be having a bit of a lag. So if everybody wants to um, wants to take a second and refresh or adjust your speed so that you are... Um, are more current. Um, I'll give you a second to do that, to adjust your speed, because we might be having a bit of a lag. So let me grab that for Bonnie. So Bonnie, I've got you for that one. So thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, still giving people a second to refresh. Um, or again, go into your settings, adjust your speed, do it to two times the speed. That'll take you up to where you are current and live. Okay, let's see. Move that over. And that. All right. Next up is okay. Uh, still at one dollar. I have a miscellaneous bag of ribbons. So in here, let's see. Let me pull out some of the ones in here. So I guess it's ribbons and threads and cords. So I'll show you what's in here. So we've got some, oops, that's attached. Okay, so we've got a few. There's like a little bit of ribbon down here. Then we've got some gold cording, some red, some more red, some silver and black cording. Okay, we've got this wired ribbon. We've got some thread. And then if you've ever had to do a repair on a sweater, these are really handy to have. And I'll show you the color variety here. Again, these are really nice if you ever have to do a repair on a sweater. a little thicker thread or again if you've got just that one little project you need just a little something there you go so you're going to get that whole bag for a dollar again miscellaneous ribbons cordings threads yarns and that one is a dollar
Okay, another 4th of July item. I've got a single pom-pom. So this is good for crafting also. You've got all of these. I, um, I guess they're like mylar. I don't know, they're more plastic, I guess. More plastic than mylar. But you get all of that, and it comes on a little stick. So you are ready to go with your pom-pom for 4th of July. And that is a dollar. Ooh, I got it all staticky now. <laughs> now it's not going to go back in the bag. I got it all staticky. Okay, um, some rainbow eyelashes. Yep, really fun colors. Awesome rainbow eyelashes. And it gives you all the instructions on how to apply them. So that is $1 for the eyelashes. I have a bridal veil. It has a comb in it, sequin, a nice short one. It's just going to go just to the shoulders. This is nice if you have a doll also. Maybe you have a bride doll. Maybe she needs a new updated veil. Uh, this could be really nice. It's got some sequin on it. And it's just a good size for a doll also. So maybe you have a doll or a teddy bear or some other animal that is a bride. Or you're going to turn one into a bride. Again, you're going to craft craft a, um, a bridal outfit. This is a really nice veil to add to that. All right, so that was the last of the $1 items. That was a lot of $1 items. Uh, for $2 items, I have got a bag of 14 red hats. So they are little woven hats. You can see a lot of them have the little silver cording around them. Some have red, little white flowers. And there are 14 of the little red hats in there. So 14 of those, and they are $2.00. Okay, next I have a bag uh, that you can use for Christmas crafting. I have a little Merry Christmas pick. We've got a little ribbon. Hi, Lucinda. And then there are four of these poinsettias. There is two, there is three, right, Jana, yes, you could even turn those into red, white, and blue um, hats for 4th of July also. You know, if you've got some little figurines um, that you display. Yeah, you could turn those into uh, 4th of July hats and everybody, all of your little figurines can be dressed up. 
So here, a little Christmas pack for decorating or crafting. And that is two. All right. I have a vintage Easter card and a vintage anniversary card. And they are going to be, um, I'm going to do $2 for both of them. Here is the inside. And I'll show you the outside again. So this one says, a happy Easter. And there she is again. Oh, no, she's giving that to an, oh, it's a different gal. So two different Easter gals. And then this one says, uh, doesn't have to be Easter, doesn't have to be any special day at all for me to wish you the very best. I do that every day. So that is a little Easter card. And then you're also going to get a happy anniversary hubby to the guy who's got what it takes. And then on the inside, it says, from the gal who takes what he's got. And then on the back, this is a Barker card. Uh, 1958. All right. So both cards, $2. All right, then I have some Easter earrings. So these are metal with enamel. They are three section earrings. So three section earrings. They are from Kmart. 2012. So those are $2 for the Easter earrings. And then I have, a, oh, did I say Easter? Christmas, Christmas wreaths. And then I have, this one is also a three-part tree. So I'll show you all three parts there. There and there. These are also from Kmart. And those are $2 for the Christmas earrings. Okay, then, oh, back here. So then I have, so I have two headbands and two parts to make headbands. So they are black headbands. They do have the teeth grip on them. And then we've got this little section here with the feathers. There is a rhinestone back there with the feathers. And then when you, ooh, okay, the teeth really grip. <laughs> I feel like if I take that out, I'm going to pull most of my hair out, <laughs> hairdo out. So there is that. And then this one also has a little rhinestone and feathers. And then there are two of these for making additional ones. So you got a nice rhinestone or, you know, plastic rhinestone looking thing there. And then this one has a square one. 
So you're going to get all four of those for $2. I know I'm probably going to have to wear this now <laughs> because I feel if I if I take that out, I'm going to um I'm going to pull my hair out of my ponytail. Um oops, what did I just drop? Oh. All right, so those are $2. All right, next is uh, right here. So also for crafting, I have five of these little white pails. So five of them. The reason why there is a Kleenex in between them is to keep them from scratching. So there are five of them. Well, it's not helping me make any sales. So I probably won't be wearing headbands. They're, they're just... Uh, <laughs> They're probably working against me. Uh, so five of them in the pail, uh, little uh, white pails. So there's five of those. Uh, then I've got some more fabric. Oops, let me put that down. So this piece uh measures 34 by 40. that's the approximate measurement i got i was measuring quick uh it's a pretty it's um oh gosh it's kind of like a mint kind of like a mint green color really pretty and this one is, uh, again, 34 inches by 40. So it's almost a yard, almost a yard. It is a cotton fabric. And that one is $2. So I do have a front and a back on this one. So $2. Um, let's put that there. All right. Then I have, and we're going to go up to $3. And I have a little bundle of Christmas fabric. Now these pieces are a little on the smaller side, but you're going to get all of them for $3. And I'll show you the first one here. So starlight, star bright. Then this one has, oh, let it snow. Little snowman. This one, uh, snowflakes are heaven sent. And ho, 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 snow, snow, snow. So that is the first fabric. The second fabric is this little square. The third fabric is this piece. And the fourth fabric, 
this piece. This is little polka dots. And then the fifth piece is actually two of these pieces. So we've got these little houses that say believe. And it says believe all around. And you're going to get two of those. So that would make a really cute pillow with those two. So again, there are two of those. And you're going to get all of these that and that one and that one and that one you're going to get all of that for three dollars Okay. Um, then I have this whole bag full of Hawaiian style lays. And I'll show you all of those. You're going to get the whole bag for $3. So we've got this pretty pastel. Got this more traditional. We've got a little one. We've got a hair clip. Nope, Linda, just trying to make sales. And hello, Linda. There's that one, and then this very colorful one. So you're going to get all of those $3. All right, I've got a bag of buttons. So there is a big variety in here, lots of colorful buttons. Hi, Apple. Let me see if I can kind of spread them out. Thank you, Sharon. But yeah, there are some fabric buttons, some metal in here. The really cool variety. Let's see, there's some red ones in there. And we'll count that down for Sharon. So going once, going twice, and sold to Sharon. Thank you. All right, I have got next, and you're going to get all of this, all of this for $3. I've got some paper shreds. So these are really nice if you're doing the um, if you're doing the gift bags, gift boxes. These are really cute for that. And Randy, you're gonna take that. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> oh, Thank you very much, Randy. If I can find it. There we go.
So with the paper shreds, you are going to get everything that is in this bag. So you get the pink ones, the blue ones, the purple ones. I know my camera is making them look a little navy. I think they're, they're like right on, on the edge of being navy or purple. I've got some natural colored ones and some white. So you are going to get all of that for making um, your gift bags. You got all the different colors of shreds and you are going to get the whole bag for three dollars. Okay, um, I'm going to get into some more fabric now. And I want to show the next two together. I will be selling them separately. Well, I can't take it out, Randy, because it's going to grab all my hair with it. So it it is going to stay until the end of the sale. <laughs> So I'm going to show these two. You can see that they are coordinating um, fabrics. I have half a yard of each. And so they are going to be $3 each for the fabrics. And I have half a yard. But I wanted to show you in case you were interested in this to do with, um, you know, a project together, but you can see how they do coordinate nicely together. So half a yard, and this is $3 for the half a yard. So there's this one with the stripes. And then this one. And this one is also $3. $3 for half a yard, and this is a cotton fabric. And thank you, Happy Maker. And then since I've been showing both of them, let me know if you're interested in the stripe, or I'll call it the stripe and the flower. So that one is a stripe. That one is the flower. They're both half yards. They're both $3 each. And so I'll have, oh, for both. Thank you, Happy Maker. And I will count you down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Happy Maker. Thank you. Okay, this next piece is really cool. It is uh, two thirds of a yard. Um, and most, I do have some more fabric, and most of them are like this they're two thirds of a yard. Uh, they're 23 by like 43. So they are these like little panels. So they're about this wide. This one is so fun with the like the vintage travel theme to it. And then I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other side. Let me get it on the fold. Yeah, this one is just, I thought this was fantastic with the vintage travel theme to it. And again, if you're someone who likes to craft and you just want that one little square, it's really easy just to grab that square, do a little crafting project with it.
but I just have the one. I just have the one of this one. And Sharon is in. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, the great designs. And oh, Happy Maker is in at four, and Sharon is in at six. I'll get in closer. Oops, so you can see some of those designs. Thank you, Happy Maker. Yeah, just like those old um, uh, steamer stickers that you see. And oh, that one's for the railroad. And we'll count that down for Sharon. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Happy Maker. Okay, uh, next up is a Christmas one. It is going to start. Oh, all right, Randy. I will do that. Um, all right, this is a Jim Shore fabric. This one is again two like two thirds of a yard. We've got the Jim Shore Santas on here. So it's the two Santa designs, and then they repeat on the other side. And this is an official Jim Shore. They call it a pillow panel. But that is, um, again, like two thirds of a yard. And this one is the 12 days of Christmas. So that one is $3. I've got another uh, Christmas design. And then the other ones I have are just regular, regular ones. But this one, let me open this one up. And so here is the Santa. And he's got all the cute little animals with him. And that one is $3. Okay, the next ones I have are not Christmas, but uh, this one I have two of. And so this, the panels are the same on each side. So you get a deer surrounded by flowers. And then you get a house that says, uh, for God so loved the world.
And Bonnie, because we have a lag this morning, be more specific than that one. <laughs> Let me know which which one. Um, so we've got that one. And again, the pattern repeats on the other side. And I have two of these. I have two of these available. And they are $3 each. So we'll see. We'll make sure Bonnie is saying this one. But if anyone else is interested in this one, um, again, I've got two of these available. All right. So guys, there, there is, I don't, well, Bonnie, I don't know which one you're talking about. Okay, Bonnie, S say, say, because, okay, I'll back up. There is apparently a huge lag today, okay? If everybody wants to take a second and refresh, please refresh. There is a huge lag. Bonnie, please type into the chat which one it was that you were interested in. If it was the travel one, then yes, you are lagging. Um, that, I think, is the only one that I've really sold. Um, and that was quite a while ago. So yeah, if that is the one you are lagging, you're lagging bad. <laughs> so everybody, please take a second, refresh. Again, you can very, very easily refresh in your settings. It's the thing that looks like a gear. Click on that, click on speed, speed it to two. That'll go two times to get you current, and then it'll go back to regular speed. Do that several times throughout a live, and you will always stay current. So Bonnie, I don't know which one. It probably was the travel. Again, that travel one was quite a while ago. Um, so again, I've got two of these with the deer. And those are $3 each. Uh, this next one, I only have one of, so just one of these. And again, it is like two thirds of a yard. And I'll show you each of the panels. And then, oh, and then the pattern repeats. No, it doesn't. Nope, it doesn't repeat. So there are like eight, eight different areas on this one. So this one is $3. I only have one of these. So $3. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I know the lag, the lag is bad today. It is bad. But I've got Sharon in for this one. And I am going to count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. And, you know, Jana, I do think originally that was kind of going to be the plan with all of these. Um, all right. The next one I have, I actually have six of these. These are so cute, but I do have six. They are $3 each. Oh, this one goes up and down. Let me make sure I'm getting it. There we go. I'll do it right here. Look how bright and cheery this one is. Isn't that sweet? Like little water, uh, watercolor paintings. Oops. And then the bottom repeats that design. But isn't that just sweet?
And so that one, I have six of these available. Yeah, I just, I love how bright and cheery that is. And of course, it's got some great sayings on it. Um, so Sharon, I see you. How many, how many would you like? Would you like one? Would you like more than one? Let me know how many you would like. Yeah, isn't that fun for spring? And it's so pretty. It looks like watercolor. It's so nicely done. And Sharon will take two of those. Thank you, Sharon. And so I do still have four of those available if anyone else is interested. I've got four of them still available. All right, the next one I have, I have three available, three of them. And these are fun summer beverages. Let me make sure I'm in the frame here. They look like little postcards with fun summertime beverages. This would be cute to do something if you have a little tiki bar. And I guess it is just the four. It is just the four. They just uh, changed the order of them. But isn't that cute? So great. If you've got a tiki bar, that would be awesome. Do something fun with those. You could even cut those out, put them between two plastic pieces and make coasters out of them. That would be really fun for a tiki bar. So I do have three of these available. Okay, the next one, I have two available, two of them, and they are butterflies. So here we go. They've got these gorgeous butterflies, and I have two of these Now this one also, there's just the four butterflies and they've repeated the pattern. So four butterflies and they've repeated the pattern. And I have two of these available. And thank you, Happy Maker. I see you in for one of the butterflies. Thank you. So if anyone else is interested in the butterflies, I do have another one available. But one is going to Happy Maker. And thank you, Happy Maker. And I'm going to put a going once, going twice, and sold to Happy Maker. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, that's that one. All right. The next one I have, oh, I have two of these. Hang on. I did not mark that. One, two. All right. This one I have two of. And they are chickens. Oh, come on. Let go. Oh, upside down. Here, let's get it going the right way here. All right. So we have got chickens or roosters. Or both. And then I think, yeah, and then we're repeating. So we've got two roosters and two hens, and then the pattern repeats. And I do have two of these available.
And Happy Maker is in for one of them. Thank you, Happy Maker. And I do have two of those available. And Sharon is going to take the other one. All right. Thank you, Happy Maker, and thank you, Sharon. Okay, next I have some patterns. I'm going to do these at $3 for the patterns. These are uncut patterns. You can see they're still original. And this one is oops, for the cow lovers. This makes little mini cows. Um, I think it says they are, oh, it doesn't say there. Somewhere I saw but it said six inch cows. Hi, Nightmare. So there are six in patterns for six inch cows and the clothing that they are wearing. So that is the first one. The next one is for making, ooh, that's really small print. How big are they? 21 inch. All right. So these animals are 21 inches. And so you're going to get the pattern to make them all and the clothing that they're wearing. This also is an uncut pattern. So again, you're going to get the pattern for the plush and the patterns for the outfits. And this is all uncut. So completely uncut pattern. And then the last pattern that I have, this one makes, how big are they? A uh, 15, oh, there's a 15 inch bear and an 18 inch bear. So two different sizes, a 15 inch and an eight inch. And it does look like they might be jointed so that they can stand or sit. And this also is an uncut pattern. Still original, uncut pattern, 15, 18 inch bears. Okay, I've got some more fabric, but this time we're getting into yards of fabric. Uh, this one is going to start at $6. And it is is one yard plus one foot. And look at this fun kind of retro style pad, uh, yeah, pattern on here. It is a ribbed, a ribbed fabric. So you can feel all of these ridges. Oops, thread. Get that out of there. So a really, really fun retro pattern. Um, and this is kind of thick fabric because it's ribbed. So it feels like a lot more than just a yard and a foot. But that's what you're going to get, a yard and a foot. Great colors for Easter. So that one is $6 for the yard and the foot of fabric. Okay, the next one I have is going to start at $10. And it is two yards of fabric. 
So two yards of fabric. However, and I'll say this with the smaller one also, if you don't want both yards, I can, if nobody's interested in the two yards and you're interested in just one yard, um, let me know because I can cut this to one yard. But look at that beautiful floral pattern. Great colors. This one is from 1993. So there's two yards of this. And again, if you're only interested in one yard, let me know because I can cut that. So that one is two yards. And then I have this one, which is two and two thirds yards. It is going to start at uh, $12. And Barb, you're going to take that one. All right. Barb is going to take this one and she's going to take both yards. Thank you, Barb. And I'm going to count that down. Going once, going twice, and sold to Barb. Thank you. Okay, the next one is a thinner fabric. It is two and two thirds yards. And it is this beautiful purple. And you can see there is a white or a, a light purple pattern also on here with the little flower bouquets. This one is a thinner fabric. And it is a little more sheer. Let me grab this little section here. So you can see, you can see my hand through there. So it is a little more sheer. And this one, two and two thirds yards. But again, I can cut that. Um, good question, Becky. Good question. Does anybody know if those are forget-me-nots? And another little piece of thread. So that one is $12 and it is two and two thirds yards. But if you would like less than that, let me know because I can cut that. And then I've got one more for today and it's going to start at $8. And it is a kit to make a cow plush that is, oh, there she is, that is wearing an apron. So you are going to make this cow plush wearing an apron. And it has everything you need here to do that. It's got all the parts. And I'll show you all her outfit, her legs. On this side, we've got um, ears, her face, and the apron. So you are going to get the whole kit and then when you are done, you are going to end up with a plush cow that is wearing an apron.
And yep, it's got all the instructions here, how to sew it all together, how to make all the parts. And then you can see here is her body. So they've got it so that you cut that part open, but her body is pretty much already all formed. So there's just a minimal actually amount of sewing to put all the pieces together. So that is $8 for the plush. And again, when you are done, you're going to get that. All right. So that was one time through everything. And I am going to do the speed round. So if you see something that you are interested in um, during the speed round, just give a shout out. And thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. If you are watching on the replay and you see something you're interested in, um, let me know. You going to come and say hi? All right. I got just enough room for you to come <coughs> and say hi. There you go. There you go. Joe wants to say hi to everybody. Okay. I know. Look at that. Everybody's saying hi to you. Isn't that sweet? I know. Just come over here just a little bit more. There you go. So everybody can see you. I know. And your eyes. Where are your eyes? Huh? Where are your eyes at? There they are. Here's your eyes. Good job. All right, so the speed round. Here we go. Uh, this one is free. Just type the word free into the chat. You just pay for shipping, which most people who already have a box, it's not going to add much to your shipping. This is how to make candy canes, um, how to make lace candy canes, and how to make the candy canes without the candy canes. So you can see some of them have it, some of them don't. This is all of the instructions on how to make these. Just type free into the chat if you would like that. It's the booklet with everything you need on the inside. Uh, what do you think? Good job, Joe. All right. Still no takers for free. Okay. And then I've got a bag of elastic. Yep, this is a whole bag full of elastic. I don't know how many yards is in here. I didn't take it out to measure it. But you're going to get the whole bag. One dollar number two. One dollar number two. Okay, then we've got both of the ribbons and um, Janine, did you mean number two? I'll give you a sec to, I'll give you a sec. Let me know if it was the elastic you wanted or if it was something else. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep watching for Janine to reply. Um, but I have two of these ribbons. They are for a gift box, a gift bag, for, for the candy cane. All right. Thank you, Janine. I've got you for that one. Thank you. Okay. So we've got these little curly Q mylar. You're going to get both of them. One dollar number three. One dollar number three. 
for the ribbon. And then it kind of goes with that. I've got some of these golden shreds. So those are going to look nice with a gift bag, a gift box. Put the ribbon on top. You've got a great set. This is $1 number four. $1 number four. And Bonnie is taking number three. Thank you, Bonnie. All right, that one, number four. Um, Joe, I know it's it's wonderful that you want a groom right here. <laughs> He's doing his nails. He's having a good time. And Bonnie is taking number four. Thank you, Bonnie. All right, with this one, you are going to get these little bands. So they are these cute little bands with little flowers on them. There are nine of them in this bag. Nine of them, plus you are going to get a little bit of extra ribbon. There's not much left on there. There is a little bit, a little bit of ribbon. And you're going to get both of these for $1, number five. $1, number five for both of those. And Janine is going to take those. Thank you. I, yeah, I know he's do he is doing a mani petty, and um, you know one of these days I gotta teach him how to do how to do my nails. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. All right. Um, oops, oops. Give me that. And okay, this. Oh, I was gonna pick those up before I forgot about them. All right, I think I counted 16 of these. So these are a bunch of little bands also. They are black and white and red. They have um, little flowers on them, little butterflies, little ladybugs. I believe there are 16. I'm going to count them again just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep, there are sixteen of these little bands in here. And they are um, one dollar number six. One dollar number six. For that little assortment. What do you think, Joe? Huh? What do you think? You like those? All right. Uh, then for 4th of July, I've got three necklaces, red, white, or red, silver, and blue. They have little stars on them. So 4th of July for wearing, for crafting, red, silver, oh my goodness, red, silver, and blue. There we go. They go right on over your head. Oh, baggy. Uh-oh, baggy down. Uh, they are $1 number seven. $1 number seven. And then I have the set of three that have stars and USA. So stars and USA, and you're going to get red, silver, and blue. And those are $1 number eight. Again, great for crafting or for wearing. 
So those are one dollar number eight. The boxes. There are four boxes. Two of them have flowers. Two of them have butterflies. They fold like little takeout boxes. You're going to get all four of them. One dollar number nine. One dollar number nine. The pair of white ribbon and Janine is taking number nine. Thank you, Janine. This one, there's not much left of the thinner white. This one is pretty close to a full roll. You are going to get both of those for one dollar number 10. One dollar number 10 for both of those. This one is a um, ivory lace ribbon. It had three yards on it. Some of it has been used, but there is still, oops, it's hard to see. There is still a lot in there. Uh, this one is one dollar number eleven. One dollar number eleven. And then I have oh Janine is taking that one. Thank you, Janine. A large black and white polka dot and a smaller black and white polka dot. You are gonna get both of those. For one dollar number twelve. One dollar number twelve on those. Okay, I have the blue fabric. It does have a faded spot on it. I think it's right here. Yep, you can see that coloring is a little faded right there. But for smaller projects, you can work around that little faded spot. Uh, this measures 18 by 44. So 18 by 44 inches on this one. And it is $1 number 15. So $1 number 15. I'll get in here. The color is going to fade out a bit. But this is, this is the true color. It is a really nice, dark, rich blue. So 15, no, number 15, $1, and it is, oh, it's 18 by 41. 18 by 41 on that one. Uh, then I have this one, which there are a couple pieces cut out of this one. And thank you, Janine. Uh, let me show you. This one is pink with little silver crowns on it. When I open it up, yep, this square has been cut out. And I do have this piece, which is a different piece to it. It is 18 by 44 with the little cut out and replacement. Again, little pink, uh, pink with silver crowns on it. And this is one dollar number sixteen. One dollar number sixteen for that fabric. And Janine is going to take that one. Thank you, Janine. All right, I have got the bag of ribbon, cording, yarn. It's just a whole bunch of little miscellaneous when you just need a little color. Um, this whole bag, $1, number 17. $1, number 17 for the bag with the cording, the ribbon, and the 
yarn. And Sharon is going to take that one. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, this one also, 4th of July for crafting or if you want to be a cheerleader on 4th of July. It is a cute little pom-pom. That is $1, number 18. And it has a little handle that you can hold on to. $1, number 18 for the 4th of July pom-pom. That's especially handy if you're going to be in a parade. <laughs> and thank you, Sharon. I've got you for the pom-pom. Um, rainbow eyelashes. Rainbow eyelashes. They are $1, number 19. $1, number 19. And the white veil. I thought this could be good if someone has a doll that needs a new veil. Or if you're making a wedding doll, this is a great size. A great size for a doll, a, a teddy bear, some kind of plush. And it's got um, pretty sequin on it. Uh, this is $1 number 20. One dollar number 20 for the veil, and it hits me right about at my shoulder, so it's a really good length for a doll. <laughs> Chucky's bride, right? <laughs> and thank you, Janine. Well, I know with dolls, if you have a doll, sometimes that's like the dust collector, and that that can need to be replaced every once in a while. So, you know, I kind of thought that that could be good for a doll. It's good for a person, too. Um, it totally works. Um, all right. The red hats. The red hats. There are 14 red hats in here. You can use these. Yep. Valentine's, Christmas, 4th of July. You can use those um, as little decorations. They are a two dollars number 21. Two dollars number 21, and there are 14 of them in here. Uh, the Christmas crafts I've got one little Merry Christmas pick and four poinsettias. You know what? I'm going to do this one at a dollar. One dollar number 22. One dollar, number 22. And thank you, Janine. I've got you for number 21. So the Christmas crafts, one dollar, number 22. Okay, the cards. I have an Easter card, vintage Easter card. And, oh, Sharon is taking 22. Thank you, Sharon. And then an anniversary card from 1958 to the guy who's got what it takes. Uh, from the gal who takes what he's got. And you get both of these cards, $2, number 23. $2, number 23 for both of those cards. Thank you, Janine. I've got earrings. Um, oh, the wreath. We'll do the wreaths first. They are three part, three part metal and enamel earrings. So you can see each of those 
Oops, each of those is a separate part. They are from Kmart 2012. And the wreaths are uh, $2, number 24. $2, number 24. And then I've got the Christmas trees. Oops. They're also three part. Also from Kmart. And they are $2, number 25. Okay, I've got the pail. There are five of these pails. They're wrapped that way to keep them from scratching. So five of these little metal pails. And they are $2, number 27. $2, number 27 for the pails. Uh, this fabric, oh, Sharon is going to take the pails. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, this fabric, kind of a mint green. I know it's it's not quite showing up that way, but it is a mint green. This piece of fabric is uh, 34 by 40. So it's just about one yard. 34 by 40, and this is $2, number 28. And it is a cotton fabric, $2, number 28. And it is a really pretty, like, mint green color. And uh, Janine is going to take that. Thank you. Then I have the Christmas lot. So I'll show you all the pieces here. You're going to get this one that has four sections to it. That's piece number one. This piece is small. That's a small one. That's two. Then you're going to get this piece. And these aren't big pieces. They're good for, you know, a small project or part of a bigger project. This one has polka dots. I'll show you. And that's half of that. And then you're going to get two of these um, Believe There are two of the Believe with the house. And all of that, $3, number 29. $3, number 29 for that whole lot. And Janine will take that one. Thank you, Janine. And then I have the bag of lays. There are, what, one, two, three, four, five lays plus a hair clip. Here is the hair clip. You can see that clips right on. And so there are five lays in here. Very colorful. And they are $3, number 30. $3, number 30 for the Lays. And, oh, Janine is going to take those. Thank you, Janine. Um, all right. If you're doing some um, gift bagging, I've got a whole bag of paper shreds. So you're going to get all of this. So there's pink. There's kind of a purplish color. Blue. 
a natural color and white. So that makes up this whole bag. You're gonna get all of those for $3, number 32. So $3, number 32 for all of the paper shreds. Okay, stay there. I don't want the bag to fall over. <laughs> Um, all right, then we are back to the fabric. I have the Jim Shore Santas. These are, these are approximate, well, they, they kind of range. Some are like two thirds of a yard. Some are actually closer to a yard. This one has the two Jim Shore Santas that repeat. This one is the 12 days of Christmas. And then this is the other Santa. And then you get you get two of those on the fabric. Uh, this is $3, number 36. $3, number 36 for the Jim Shore Santas. And Janine is going to take that one. Thank you. And then this Santa, a little different. I'll show you that and then I'll flip it over and show you the other side. And this one is $3, number 37. $3, number 37. And Janine is going to take that one. Thank you, Janine. Uh, this one. This one is another one where it's two panels that get repeated. So you get four of them all together. And this one says, um, for God so loved the world. And it has a beautiful house. And then on the other side, you get these beautiful deer. And it's so pretty how it looks like stained glass around them. I have two of these available. They are $3, number 38. $3, number 38. And I have two, two of those available. And Janine, Janine, did you want one of those or did you want both? Both. All right. Thank you, Janine. Look at that. She already answered before I asked. All right. Uh, this next one, I have four of these. Bye, Heidi. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So I have four of these available. They are great. Nice, colorful, kind of looks like a watercolor. And then I'll flip that around and show you the rest of it. There is the rest of that one. Uh, this one is $3, number 40. $3, number 40. And I do have four of these available. I think Happy Maker is saying 40. Um, so hang on, hang on one sec. Happy Maker came in first. Um, so Happy Maker, how many of those would you like? You get, um, you, that's okay. You get first choice on those because you came in first. Okay, Happy Maker would like one. And then Janine, Janine will take the three. All right. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. And thank you, Happy Maker.
Okay. Uh, the next one is the summer beverages. Uh, there are four of them and then they repeat. So you get eight of them total, but here are the four. They look like, they kind of look like vintage postcards. So there are the four and then you get them repeated on the back. So really fun if you've got a tiki bar. And oh, I just, I just realized they've got a little monkey in that one. Uh, these are $3, number 41, and I have three of them available. So $3, number 41, for the fun little summer beverages. And I have three of them available. And I do see Janine in. Thank you, Janine. And Janine will take all of those. Thank you. Um, let's see. The butterflies. I have one butterfly left. This one also, there's four butterflies and they get repeated. So they get repeated on the other side here. And these are $3, number 42, or this one, just the one. I only have the one. Um, and that is $3, number 42. And Janine is going to take that one. All right. Thank you, Janine. Okay. The patterns. This one is for a six inch cow plus all the cute little clothing. An uncut pattern, original uncut pattern. This is $3, number 44. This one is for making a, oh gosh, I forgot. Making a, how big? Uh, shoot, 21 inch. A 21 inch bear plus all of the little outfits. Original uncut pattern. This is $3, number 45. And then with this one, you can make a 15 or an 18 inch bear. It does look like it's jointed, so it can stand up or sit down. Uh, this is an uncut pattern and it is $3, number 46. All right, the beautiful floral pattern. This is a ribbed pattern. So it is a little thicker fabric. Uh, this is one yard plus one foot. It is $6, number 47. Such a fun pattern. Is that? So that one is a uh, one yard, one foot, $6, number 47. This one is a little more sheer. Let me pull, oops, let me pull this one up. So this one's a little more sheer. You can actually see my hand through it. And thank you, Janine. I've got you for 47. Uh, this one is a little more fabric, um, two and two thirds yards. So two and two thirds yards but it is a thinner fabric, a little more sheer. Uh, this one is $12, number 49, $12, number 49. And if no one wants um, all two and two thirds yards of this, I can cut this down, um, but you, I just want to point out that you can kind of see through that. And Janine is going to take that one. Thank you, Janine.
And then lastly, I have the cow. So this is a kit. You put this together and you're going to end up with a plush of a cow and an apron. So that's what you're going to end up with. All the pieces are here and the instructions on how to put her together. But you're going to end up with that cute little plush. Oh, I just found her nose. There it is. There's her little nose. And this is $8, number 50. $8, number 50 for the little cow. And, uh, and thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your purchases. Um, I really, really do appreciate that today. Um, yeah. So this is the one and only sale. Um, if you still have the black with white. Oh, yes, I do still have that one, Randy. I do. Let me, um, in fact, let me put down doo -doo -doo, right here. Randy for the rhinestone scarf. And, and I'm going to find the other one for Barb also right there. That one for Barb. All right. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it so much. So, so much. Uh, don't forget tomorrow is Wednesday. That means double sale, double sale day. Oh, and Randy is going to take, oh, hang on, hang on. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Ah. Randy is going to take the threat of uh, the black and white ribbon. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Um, yeah, but tomorrow is double sale day with Jen and Sabrina. Our guest tomorrow for both sales is Sabrina. So I hope you'll be able to join us for both sales. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. And, um, yeah, everyone, I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you for keeping me busy. All right, Randy. Gotcha. Gotcha on that. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow.